I think that with this video I'm going to lose a few brownie points and I'm going to antagonize a few of my more nerdy friends, but I think it is something that needs to be said, and I'm going to say it. I've just been reinstalling software on my laptop. I decided it was finally time to bite the bullet and move away from that ab abomination of an operating system that's Windows Vista. So the first thing I did was I decided to install Windows 7. It's a familiar operating system. I have some idea of what to do. But even so, I found installing Windows 7 an absolute delight. I took everything off the PC, I reformatted the disk so it was a complete install from scratch. Even so, I installed Windows 7, it immediately gave me a good display, a display driver that can handle high resolution and everything like that, out of the box. It immediately recognized my wireless, it got me onto the internet and from there I could install everything else I need. Not a bother. It had no problem connecting to my home network, wireless, my keys, everything, everything worked perfectly. That is the experience that I'm coming from. So please forgive me, but I tried Ubuntu. I tried this Wubi thing, W-U-B-I, which allows you to install Ubuntu through the Windows operating system, but once you've done that, you've got a dual boot machine, Windows and Ubuntu. Well, what joy that was. I installed Ubuntu, I booted into Ubuntu, and then the pain started. The first thing I noticed is it could not see my wireless. It was disabled. Well, how do you enable it? I looked around and I faffed about and eventually I realized I couldn't do it. Booted back into Windows 7 because that's the only way I could get onto the internet. Looked up all sorts of suggestions and eventually came to the conclusion that the reason that was, this was happening was that Ubuntu was unable to establish the fact that there was a wireless card in my laptop. There were some suggestions but first of all, they were like reading bloody Chinese. And even so, I went through the trouble of trying them out. Obviously, I had to print them off first, so I could then boot into Ubuntu where I had no network access, and then try and figure out what the hell was going on. I tried the suggestions. It was talking about a command called NDIS wrapper, which I then found wasn't installed. It didn't Kim come with Ubuntu as standard, trying to install it following other instructions on how to install this utility didn't work either and at that point I decided enough is enough. I don't need this shit. I do not need this aggravation sodded. If Ubuntu cannot produce a product that on a standard bit of kit like in Inspiron 1720 which is by no means an exotic configuration of a laptop. If Ubuntu cannot produce something that you can install out of the box so that you can then immediately get onto the internet so you can get the assistance you need, you can get to the forums where some problems can be resolved, but you fall at the first hurdle and you cannot even establish a network connection, it can go fuck itself. Sorry, I don't need this nonsense. Now Windows certainly isn't a perfect operating system. It has its problems, it has its quirks, and obviously being as big as it has, it has security issues. But at least it's usable. And Ubuntu has a far way to go before it reaches that point. Sorry. 